The heat and dry weather has continued here in Nebraska. We're going on our second week of what there's, what's being called a flash drought. And so it's leading many turf managers to be really relying on their irrigation systems. And so I want to talk a little bit today about how we can become a little bit more precise in how we're doing our watering and our hand watering. And so the first thing to show is we're here back on our drought study. We have some plots that are really becoming dry. I haven't been irrigated for two weeks. We've had about uh, four inches of evaporation when corrected for a crop coefficient on these plots versus our well water control. And so if we're going to be hand watering, you know, we want to make sure that we're um, you know, keeping that turf grass uh, well watered into the morning so that grass can, you know, transpire all during the day and stay cool and then cool off at night as that soil is a little bit drier. And so when we're trying to figure out how to water, you know, this is an important tool, our TDR, uh, soil moisture meter, there's different varieties out there. You know, stick it into the ground, measure uh, soil moisture. And uh, the one issue with this instrument is, although it's great uh, to find, you know, measure the soil moisture, finding the hot spots can be a challenge. And so that's where, you know, I really think pairing a TDR probe like this with our FLIR 1 uh, camera to find those hot spots is a lot more powerful. So if we are out hand watering, uh, we can go and, you know, find the hot spots with the FLIR 1 and then, you know, verify that they're dry with the, uh, the TDR probe. There may be situations where a spot might be hot and the TDR probe might say it's wet and doesn't need to be watered. What would that be? If you had some type of a root disease like Pythium root rot or summer patch, that would be a situation where the plant is droughty even though the soil is wet. So we can kind of scout with these two tools in combination. You might also see with your FLIR that the grass is getting pretty warm. And it may lead you to think, you know, let's go syringe. And syringing really isn't very beneficial to the turf if it's well watered. If it's turf with some kind of root disease or under drought, you know, syringing is going to help to cool that canopy down a little bit more. And so that could be something that may be beneficial, but that's really not how we want to manage our water. Instead, we'd like to make sure that we have enough water to get through the day in the morning and verify that we have enough water with our TDR probe. Also remember that these TDR probes are calibrated to one very specific soil. And so a number that you're going to get with this probe for your golf course is going to be very different than the course uh, down the street or even, you know, maybe a newer green or an older green. And so, for example, this push-up style green, this grass is severely wilting at 12 percent, yet in the well-watered spot is 30 percent moisture. And that may be extreme amount of water compared to a sand-based green that can only hold maybe 18 percent water and shows drought at 3 percent. So don't compare numbers. It's specific to your location and, uh, you know, Make sure that turf is watered in the morning and try not to syringe because syringing, if you do it too aggressively, can actually heat up that soil and cause those roots to be under a lot of stress. So as it's hot and dry, let's be smart with our water. Let's make sure that we're watering in the morning. There's enough to sustain that plant through the, through the day and confirm that with our FLIR and with our TDR probe.